Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Prism Blur node. And the Prism Blur node is another DaVinci Resolve effect available within Fusion. And what it does is it simulates a flat chromatic aberration and it also gives you the ability to add vignettes. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into Fusion and hit Shift Space Prism Blur. And uh, let's look at our prism blur. And up top, we have our position on our X and Y. And we also get this little gizmo in the middle so we can change the position or the center position of this effect. So I can go ahead and place it between our eyes. We have a blur strength right here. So we can add or subtract the blur. Under Aberration Distance, this is going to change the aberrations that are applied around our uh, blur. So as I change this, you can see those increasing. And we have Aberration Strength, so I can increase them or decrease them. As far as our vignette, we have two settings, so we can change our vignette size. And we can change the sharpness. So if I only wanted to use vignette, I could actually switch all these down and uh, that would give me a vignette to use. Or we can shut the vignette off and just use our uh, little aberrations with our blurring. And a good way to do this is to uh, dial in your distance and change your blur strength or whatever you want to change in it. And uh, for the aberration strength, we can uh, just right click, go to modify with. We could add a shake so we get some auto animated shake on our aberration. So that is the prism blur. I will see you in the next no breakdown.